We had that uh, that situation was because of our second period. Uh, it really got away from our game. Uh, uh, forwards, these really uh, far apart and weren't moving the puck as well as we did in the first and kind of regrouped there after the second and decided that we were going to come back and, and break out of our own end with a five-man unit and and that way we could have support on the attack and then probably move the puck a lot better than we did in that second period. So it was nice to see you guys react and uh, down 2-1 and then find a way to win. So to me, it showed a lot of character on our part. Luch has had an, an up and down year, but you talked about him leading that group uh, the other day. Can you just talk about how he's kind of surging at the, at the right time? Oh, well, he is, and, and especially at the end there, you know, at one point, you know, I, I told him he had to move his feet a little bit more. I didn't think he was skating as well as we've seen him skate in the first part of the game. And once he got his feet going, the whole the whole line just kind of changed, and uh, that's the kind of difference he can make. And uh, you know, scores that big goal. He's got he's got a heavy shot, and I know it was on the ice, but it's quick. And uh, probably surprised Luongo on that uh, with the, the heaviness of that uh, that low shot. But uh, he's capable of scoring goals like that when he moves his feet. And uh, and uh, to me, he's he's a, I continue to say he's done a great job with those two young guys. I mean. Uh, uh, that line's probably been, uh, probably has been our most productive line in the month of March, and uh, a young line that uh, that has a, a guy that feels like he wants to lead them and uh, has done a good job of that. He's he's kept saying over the years that you know he wants to be part of that leadership group, and he's just showing it right now that he's very capable of doing it. Well, that the. the on the pass from that goal to, to stay with that line, I mean, shows some chemistry too. I mean, for pass from to, you know, just it's a basically an area pass and, you know, knows that we can skate into it too. Yeah, exactly. You know, you, you want guys going to the net, we keep talking about that. You want them to stop in front and, you know, we, we want to throw pucks at the net when we can and both those things happen. So those are great clips to reinforce the things that we're looking for and, uh, you know, Big goal obviously gave us some life and uh, certainly got the fans back into the game. And uh, when we get our fans uh, as loud as they were after that goal, it certainly uh, is easy to, to keep that momentum going from our end. What you think of that effort by McQuaid there late in the game, 2-2, scrum in front of Tuka, and he kind of keeps the puck out of the net in that situation? What do you think of that kind of Well, effort? that's just, uh, you know, Adam, Adam doesn't always get enough credit for his defensive play and his physical play, and, you know, he's not always on the stat sheet. But, uh, you know, he's, he's a real good defender, he's a real good shot blocker, and uh, he's really good there around the net area, and that's why he's on the ice there at the end. Well, in this last segment, do you, do you feel like you've had to be kind of uh, maybe proactive or, or vigilant with the Spooner line in terms of looking for the right matchups, the right situations? Yeah, you know, I have, and, and tonight I, I'd probably tell you that the, the only uh, line I wanted to keep them away from was, was that uh, was the Jaggers line, you know, and we uh, were to and bark off, and uh, that's the only thing. And again, it's not because uh, you don't trust them; it's just a lack of experience. And, and the rest, you know, they, they they played against their second, they played against their third line, and that didn't matter to me because, I, you know, in my mind, I, I felt they could hold their own. And you know, they're getting better all the time too. Let's not kid ourselves. From the first time they were together, which was, you know, always a a real tough matchup for me to make sure it was really uh, the right situation. Now I'm a little bit more flexible because, you know, they are getting better and they're getting more experience and uh, you can uh, utilize them that way. And obviously when you, you have the last change at home, it makes it even easier. Uh, Seidenberg's game seems to be getting more and more physical at this late stage of the season. And it's getting to that point now where other teams are trying to pick fights with him because they're getting upset with him because he plays such a hard physical game. Is that a sign to you that he's all the way back and back to being the player that you that you uh, had here on this team with well, that injury? Well, I think we spoke about that uh, earlier this year that, you know, when, when you've missed as much time as he has, and we've seen other players on our team that have missed more than half a season, in the past, and it takes a while to find your game again. So I would say it's a combination of him finding his game. I think also, when you look at the situation we're in right now, everybody's had to elevate their game, and uh, he's a big, strong individual that's capable of bringing some physical presence back there. And Z's doing it, you know, McQuay's doing it. So that's really helped uh, us as far as teams not uh, not being as comfortable as they have been for uh, a part of the season this year in our own end. Is there enough time in the season for the Spooner line to not have to be? A concern in terms of matchups? Can at some point they just be another line? Think? Or? Well, I think Matt. You know, when I say a concern, you know, 
I think it's only natural. Any coach would do the same thing: is keep that line away from mm -hmm. the top line. Or sometimes teams have really two really uh, heavy top lines. So that's all I have to be careful about. Like I said tonight, there's only one line out of four. The others didn't matter to me. So it's not it's not as big of, as, of an issue as we we're we we're talking about right now. I'm explaining more about you know my uh, uh, my dealing with it. And uh, to me, they're getting better and better all the time. But I, I don't think I'm going to stand here and say, listen, you know, uh, by the end of the year, they'll be playing against the other team's top line. I don't think that's realistic in, in that situation.